We are at Highland Park Service Center in Highland Park, Illinois. My 60 kilowatt Model S is currently in the service bay getting updated to uh, 6.0 firmware as uh, 5.12 was really horrible and buggy. So I figured as long as my car is getting updated to that, I would go over some of the release notes in their showroom display model, also a 60 kilowatt. However, this one does have the tech package. So, oh, uh, this one is uh, version 6.0 release 6 or 1.65.11. Just some of the things that it has. Uh, let's see. Now offering enhanced navigation. Uh, of course, I have it on the video so you guys can read for yourselves, but I'll just cover the highlights. Uh, traffic based navigation. Other map and navigation improvements, they have a new calendar function which links to your iPhone uh, or other smartphone. Uh, new power management options, I'd like to see that one. Location based smart air suspension, uh, you can choose a custom car name. Uh, this one is named Elon One, fitting, although it probably is not number one. Anyways, uh, and additional improvements. Uh, since I don't have the tech package with navigation, let's cover the navigation stuff real quick. Uh, Traffic-based navigation, still in beta, apparently. Uh, routing system now takes real-time traffic conditions into account when determining your route. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be very happy for that one. Um, it's going to also give you... Oh, uh, there's going to be some other settings I won't be able to quite go over. Uh, just due to not having a uh, tech package on my vehicle and I won't be here long enough to display with their demo car. Uh, we have commute advice. Even if you do not use navigation on your daily commute to and from work, the Model S navigation system will now monitor traffic between your home work locations and let you know if there's a faster route due to traffic. That is really cool. Since it's using Google Maps, I believe, I could be wrong on that, at least for the Center Council. Um, and Google Traffic, uh, it's going to be kind of like uh, Waze GPS for your smartphone. Other maps, navigation improvements, improved traffic display, uh, full screen, the turn list shows more of the turns ahead. The turn list now is more concise. Uh, favorites, map magnification, updated map, navigation maps. Uh, now there's also, also this neat calendar function. Uh, the new calendar app in your Model S allows you to view your phone's calendar for current and next day. If calendar event has a location specified, you will be given an option to navigate to that location. Um, you can see the, uh, take a peek at some of the release notes here. Uh, like I say, there's, there's a lot to read, so um, if you need, just pause the video, read, and then hit play again. New power management options. Uh, release gives you more control over how your car saves energy. With the nightly option, your Model S will shift into energy saving mode at night only. That would be really nice, because generally, I'd like my car to sleep at night. Uh, and during the day, I'd rather have it stay awake. Um, since I'll be in and out of it constantly, no reason for the car to sleep for 10 or 15 minutes. You're really not saving that much power, and you're increasing aggravation uh, by having it sleep during the day of your your phone app not connecting quick enough. Uh, so now this should improve the car's response time. Um, you need you want to connect to it with your your phone and say just either even unlock the doors or turn on your heat. Um, and well, I guess now with the new iPhone app and 6.0 firmware on the car, you can also start your car from the iPhone or, or Android phone, whichever you may may have. Um, Location-based smart air suspension. You can have the car remember when to raise or lower your suspension. So say you have a steep driveway and you have to raise it to the maximum ride height. Uh, just in case you don't ground out or hit something, or if you have uh, uh, speed bumps in your parking complex that you need the car to be raised up to go over, uh, the car will now know when to automatically raise that up and then lower back down when needed. 
and you can all save that. It's pretty neat. I don't have air suspension either, so I can't demo that, but uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory, and I heard it works fairly well. Uh, custom car name, you get to name your vehicle. That's self-explanatory as well. Additional improvements, new feedback, voice command. There is a new voice command to help you provide feedback. Say note, report, bug note, or bug report, followed by your brief comments. The car will capture a snapshot of your system, including screenshots of the two displays. Tesla will review these notes periodically and use them to continue improving the Model S. That feature will be gold. Uh, trying to explain to someone on the phone or in a service center what had happened uh, isn't as easy as actually showing them by saving that screen capture or uh, letting it get the logs or capture of immediately of when it happened. Uh, door handle improvement. Your Model S door handles are now more responsive. Thank God. Um, I'm sitting in a practically, oh, it is a brand new uh, VIN numbers in the 40,000s and the door handles are awesomely responsive when I touch them. Mine, not so much so. So we'll see how that improves my car. Instru instrument panel now has refined graphics, including streamlined dial and other elements. Let's take a quick peek at that. Um, as I don't have the key for this display car, I cannot uh, show with the speedometer. But as you notice, uh, they, they got rid of the 3D style and it's more of a flat and more crisp look. I personally prefer the original look much better. Uh, yeah, not not too impressed with the, with the new screen style. I like that 3D look a little better. Hopefully in the future they'll let us choose So, uh, here we are with the uh, calendar app. Uh, this I will be able to demo on my car. I'm not going to pair my phone to this uh, to this display car for obvious reasons, but uh, you can see your phone's calendar and connect a blue... to see your calendar, connect a car via phone uh, Bluetooth. Um, I never use my phone's calendar, so I'm not sure how useful that will be for me. Uh, a more useful feature would have been valet mode, I think, rather than calendar mode. I don't know too many people that actually use... I, mean, I know there's people out there, but I don't know too many that use a, uh, their phone as the calendar. I prefer having my own paper book that I can write and scribble on cross things out. It's a little easier to see the overall month picture of what's going on, at least for me, but that's personal preference. Oh, this one's got a cold weather package. I've never seen the menu for that. But, uh, let's see. Steering mode. Let's see, where's the air suspension? Oh, here we go. Uh, power management. Energy saving. Off, nightly, on. And then you can always also choose always connected, so it's always connected to the 3G for quick app access. I think nightly will work fine for me. Trips, nothing changed. Oh man, if I could get those heated wipers. Let's see. We got the power management settings over in the display section again. Alarm off. Park assist chimes. Oh yeah, this has got the backup sensors. Um, I used to list of some of the apps there. Overall, rather interesting. And uh, uh, there were also some people reporting a little more crisper pedal feel, you know, or the go pedal acceleration. Uh, so I'll be able to give that a try and give my opinions. And that's it. Next up, um, I will also be merging 
or maybe I won't. I'll do a separate video for uh, the iPhone app connection. Nah, never mind, I'll merge it.